What's up, MMO Attack fans? This is Zach here, bringing you guys a second look at The Lost Titans, a browser-based MMORPG published by ZQ Game. The last time we took a look at this game, it was in closed beta testing. It has since moved out to open beta testing. And during the course of the beta, we've seen more balanced in-game economy, an increased max level into the 90s range, a lot of different new content, such as new territories, new starting cities and newbie areas, new PvP zones, and things of that nature. Additional pets and mounts, some more in-game events, additional tutorials, more bosses, and lastly, better localization. In other words, translation issues have been fixed. So let's go ahead and talk to this chick here. Uh, we're just going to skip through most of this dialogue here. There's another player that's right next to me. Pretty much as I remember from the last time I played this, it's basically the same deal. You just kind of kind of run around from NPC to NPC, at least initially, before you'll actually start killing some stuff. And you're going to talk to some more NPCs. We're going to go find Leah here. We're going to talk to her and skip through all this and talk to Artemisia, who's right down there. And as you can see, there's that dragon that looks suspiciously like uh, Deathwing from World of Warcraft. And as I, um, as I ride through here, I want to talk some more about uh, what the game's website says about some of the new areas and new things which you can see from open beta. First of all, there's a new territory called the Core of Aristos, where it says, Ophion has been mining the magical power in Aristos, and the entrance to the Core of Aristos has recently been discovered. Venture deeper into his realm, fight your way to the ultimate boss, and avenge Lord Hyperion. Also, there's a new battleground, Zeus's Fury. Arts Quarter periodically turns into a battleground during the new in-game event, Zeus's Fury. During Zeus's Fury, you will fight Punishers, a group of new monsters. These high-level enemies may require Warriors of Light to band together for victory. Let's talk to this guy here and see what he has to say. And uh, yeah, we know how to do all that. Just hold down the right mouse button to rotate the camera. Talk to the NPC again. This game has very good graphics to be a browser game. I'm going to go ahead and mention that once again. And also there's some PvP changes. You can now duel other players. There's a revamp newbie zone called the True Rite of Passage. A revamp newbie area. All players are now inducted to the planet of Aristos from the City of Light. Prove your worth as a warrior of light by facing the trapped water demon. Defeat the trap. De Speaking of the trap demon, there he is right there. Defeat the trap demon. All right, so you just left click the mouse button to attack, and we have a special ability, the double shot, right there. I'm going to go ahead and use that. What does double shot say? Fires two successive shots that attack the target twice, causing 55% basic damage plus 40 physical damage per attack. And he's taking a little while to kill, but uh, he's going down fairly quickly. He's not going to take much longer. And also, let's talk about the VIP levels. The VIP system has been modified to be more accessible. Under the new system, players VIP 1 to VIP 2 will be rewarded with new economic and aesthetic perks. And more details will be released further into the open beta process. Well, we, we killed that guy. Before. I think we accidentally attacked him again, but let's hope we don't have to fight him again. So we're just going to go ahead and talk to this guy here. We're going to accept. And we're going to go into the portal. And yeah, this is going to bring us back to the little forest area. And we'll see what else we can get into. Now I want to talk about some of the new pets while I walk to find this new NPC. It says uh, The game's website says, Whether flaunting your strengths in the battlegrounds or rescuing Hyperion, do it all with the assistance of some new trusty sidekicks. Adopt cuddly creatures such as the Pogo, the Panda, or Mini Finny, the Mini Finback. Also at your service is the Alluring Stormfell. Teach your pets a variety of new skills and more customized gameplay. And there's also additional mounts like the new Rocket Mount, for example. It says, travel through Aristos at top speed on Nether Rocket, a new mount obtained only through Fortuna's Wheel. Additional updates will also be released throughout the open beta phase. Under the current development is the ability to create multiple characters on a single account, and they're working to perfect the delicate balance of the in-game trading system. All the features and more will be progressively released upon the final game launch. So we just leveled up, and we're going to go ahead and click OK, and it tells us to go ahead and kill a goblin archer. Not really seeing a lot of players around, but I did see one or two in the newbie zone, so I guess there are some people playing. And of course, right as I say that, there's a player right there who's running around. I'm playing a ranger, as you can see. I'm level 5 right now. And killed that NPC. Yeah, already being level 5 and only having played for just a few minutes. I mean, you level up very, very fast in this game. So we're going to go ahead and complete the quest, or at least initially. I'm going to go ahead and talk to this guy again. Complete. 
Go ahead and talk to this guy, kill a brute bowman. You know, the first time I took a look at this game, I said it looked a lot like World of Warcraft, at least in terms of the armor design. I'm not quite sure if I agree with that statement now. I, I, I say that perhaps instead of World of Warcraft, it looks a lot like Torchlight. And of course, Torchlight, in some ways, is sort of inspired by WoW's art style, but just given the uh, nature of the characters and how they look sort of stunted, almost dwarfish in a sense, kind of reminds me a lot more of... Um, of Torchlight, I would say, than, than World of Warcraft, especially giving the top-down camera perspective, in which you can pan, you can zoom in, of course, using the scroll wheel, but uh, you can't um, really change the camera angle all that much from the over-the-head perspective. You can go up a little bit and down a little bit, but not much more than that. So we're going to complete that quest, skip through all this dialogue, and find Ifaris, who looks like, yeah, looks like we're going to have to go into the abandoned mine to do that real quick. Uh, let's see, there we are in the abandoned mine. I made the comment once before that it doesn't look like much of a mine, but uh, it should work. Go ahead and talk to this NPC, click complete. Let's see if we have access to any additional skills. Nope, we sure don't. We don't get another skill until level 6. And we're level 5, so let's see what all we can kill. We're about halfway to level 6, I would say. So we have to kill one more crazed wolf. There's one right there. And he went down pretty quick. So we're going to go talk to the NPC again. Well, no, no. We have to go talk to a different NPC. So we're just going to keep going. We're going to automatically walk to our quest NPC. I love that feature in a lot of these free-to-play games, the auto-pathing feature. I'm going to go ahead and complete the quest. Although it does make the game feel a little bit robotic from time to time. So we got that. We got a. We, we leveled up. Oh, wait, no, we didn't level up, but we still got a new skill. Hmm. I assume we got that simply by completing the quest. Either way, we have to complete three... We have to attack these crazed wolves. Let's see what the three key does. Lightning arrow fires an explosive bolt at the target, blasting all nearby enemies and causing 66% basic damage plus 60 physical damage. In other words, it's an AoE attack. So we're going to go ahead and auto route to Morris, who is hanging out over here but before we do that let's attack these crazed wolves by using our AOE and yeah once again these guys go down very very fast so we've got those guys taken care of let's talk to Morse. complete the quest click OK kill Chieftain Bolt who should be hanging out right around here with the rest of his wolf friends got those guys taken care of and there we go Chieftain Bolt's putting up a little bit of a fight, but uh, there again, the initial stages of this game are fairly simplistic, not a lot of a challenge. And there we go. Okay, he is hanging on longer than I thought, but there, <laughs> there he goes. We killed him, and we essentially completed the dungeon. So we get to pick, it looks like a random item. That kind of reminds me of stuff you'll see from games like Vindictus or C9. Or, uh, dun more like, uh, not really MMOs, but um, dungeon crawlers. And we completed the quest. Let's skip through all this dialogue. Let's see. Upgrade skill. We can get a new skill. Uh, upgrade. Well, we can't really... I don't think we can upgrade anything. So, the quest says to find Marcus, so let's go ahead and find Marcus. There he is right over there, and we'll see what he wants us to do. Mr. Marcus, we'll go ahead and complete the quest and talk to Marcus again that's kind of frustrating we're gonna get a new bow long bow of the flame physical attack 24 to 24 well there's no disputing what the, what that's supposed to be uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and equip the uh, new bow find Shiri let's go ahead and talk to her wherever she is if you press the M key you can pull up your map and Shiri let's see well is it gonna take me back into the dungeon obviously so let's talk to her let's complete the quest Skip through all this dialogue, kill the enraged dire lion. More of these wolves that are going to make short work of these guys. And there we go. Combat in this game is actually pretty decent. It reminds me a lot of a um, of an actual client-based game. A lot of times you'll play a browser game and um, they feel sort of cheap and uh, not very high quality. But this is a fairly decent browser game. In fact... Uh, you would be hard pressed to even think you're playing a browser game and also if you download the game you do have the option of playing straight from your desktop so in a sense it's almost like you're really not even playing a browser game because you can play it straight from the browser or you can play it from your desktop using an exe file 
So we're going to find the enraged dire lion, but we keep getting attacked by the regular dire lions that seem to just be spawning out of nowhere, but uh, they all go down fairly quickly thanks to my AoE, and, you know, health potions aren't what I need right now. Uh, mana potions are definitely what I need right now. I'm running out of mana really quick. Luckily, you regenerate your mana fairly fast, so it's not a big deal. Just got a few more of these guys to kill, and then maybe I can hit the enraged dire lion. Let's see. I'm doing about, I think, 20, 20, 28, 20, 28 so points of damage in my regular attacks. And then my special attacks are doing anywhere from about 60 to 70 damage. Still, <laughs> mobs are just spawning right on top of me. I don't even have time to move, hardly. But, um, yeah, I'm definitely appreciating the free experience points I'm getting from all of this. But yeah, if you can see that this one character can take out all these different enemies at one time, I mean, this is definitely a game where you're going to be fighting lots of different things. All right, there we go. There's the enraged dire wolf that just kind of sp or dire lion, not wolf, that spawned right on top of me. We're going to keep pelting him with our AOE as soon as we uh, can regenerate some of our mana to go ahead and take down some of these dire wolves. But I don't think the AOE is really helping us much for whatever reason. So we'll just go ahead and I guess try to take these guys down as best we can one by one. So we're almost done with the Dire Lion. There we go. We leveled up again. We're level 7 now. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. You obtained better weapons, but I already had that weapon, so I don't know why it's just now telling me that. Uh, we're going to click on all this loot to pick it up. And we completed the dungeon. We're going to pick a treasure card and just got some more silver. We're going to be transported out of the dungeon now. And we're going to go find Marcus. So let's talk to Marcus. There he is. See what he has to say. Complete the quest. Find Corridan. Where is Mr. Corridan? There he is, right over there. Complete his mission. And then find another NPC. So yeah, you really don't have to read the quest text at all in this game to figure out what you're doing, which I think is pretty cool. Um... I like games that are a little bit different. This game doesn't really do a lot different, unfortunately. But I do like games that you can kind of figure out on your own just by playing them. In other words, games that don't require you to spend a lot of time um, figuring out how to play. You can figure out how to play just by playing the game, intuitively speaking, in other words. And this game is... Uh, it's similar to a lot of MMORPGs. It's not going to knock your socks off with innovation, but it is uh, familiar, and familiar in a good way. So we are in a new area right now. We have to equip the Badge of Courage. Where is the Badge of Courage? Click the character icon. Click the trinket slot. Click OK. Click to open your inventory. I guess that's the Badge of Courage. OK. Yeah, OK. All right, we're going to talk to him. I think this is like, I, I, I would assume this is the, I, I don't know, but I, I, th I think this is like a hub city, so to speak, in the game. This is not really an adventure area, although I could be wrong. Uh, we have another quest to go ahead and talk to another NPC, who is over here. So we'll chat with her, see what she has to say. Oh, she didn't have to say much at all. Or, well, yeah, she does, too, but I'm going to go ahead and skip all that. And again, if you weren't skipping past all this dialogue, this game is uh, story-based. That's why there is so much quest dialogue. So if you were to actually follow the dialogue, I mean, you might actually have a pretty decent story that might, uh, I don't know, I guess at the very least entice you to keep playing the game. So we're going to go ahead and talk to Bacchus and complete the quest. We're going to go ahead and talk to him and... Talk to him again and complete the next quest. Talk to him again. And well, that's really about all the time we have for this second look at the Lost Titans. If you guys want to check out more about the Lost Titans, head on over to the game's official website. If you guys want to learn more about MMO Attack, head on over to MMOAttack.com for more MMO gaming news, reviews, opinions, giveaways, and other awesomeness.